Chimneys and motorcycles? Odds are you probably don't know what these two things have in common, but they both need spark arresters. And what is a spark arrestor? Stick around to find out everything you need to know. Hi everybody, what's up? My name's Sam Badger and I'm here to answer all your spark arrestor related questions. Since spark arresters are primarily made out of woven wire mesh, W.S. Tyler's 150 years of experience is perfect to tell you everything you need to know about spark arresters. From the specifics of what a spark arrestor is, why you may want to construct your spark arrestor out of wire mesh, what alloys work best for spark arresters, common spark arrestor applications, and how much a spark arrestor costs. Spark arresters have been in use for hundreds of years. The purpose of a spark arrestor is to keep anything that expels flame or sparks, like an internal combustion engine, from starting fires. They were first designed for trains, which were notorious for starting fires when they passed through wooded areas. Those obvious stacks with crazy amounts of smoke coming out were fitted with spark arresters to keep large particles or sparks from escaping, but the design still allowed for the smoke to pass through. Spark arresters can be made of expanded metal or a perforated plate. But as I said before, most spark arresters are made from some kind of wire mesh. It's because the malleable nature of the woven wire mesh makes it way easier to form the mesh into different shapes, as opposed to the expanded wire or perforated plate. So, a wire mesh spark arrestor can be fitted to an exhaust and catch small particles like carbon or sparks, which obviously have the ability to cause a fire. However, the design of the wire mesh allows for the exhausted fumes to still pass through. Typically, wire mesh spark arresters are made out of a stainless steel alloy. That's because stainless steel is proven to deliver the perfect balance of cost effectiveness, corrosion resistance, heat resistance, durability, and pliability. But, depending on your needs, other alloys can be used as well. So, when identifying an alloy to use, you should take the alloy's carbon makeup into consideration because the amount of carbon in an alloy determines its performance when you're exposing them to high temperatures. Spark arresters are mandated for specific internal combustion engines. Specifically, anything used outdoors in wooded areas or any application where there's a risk of starting a fire. Vehicles like motorcycles or ATVs require spark arresters in all of those applications. A wire mesh spark arrestor can be used for that. Chimneys and stoves can also require spark arresters, but in that case, you could use a larger spark arrestor made out of expanded wire or perforated plate. Because there's so many factors like mesh specifications, size of parts, fabrication needed to produce those parts, and the amount of pieces being ordered, it's just not possible to give any sort of cost. But I will say, a good rule of thumb to follow is the more spark arresters you order together, the lower the price will be when compared to smaller orders. Large and small orders take relatively the same amount of time to produce, so the design phase is really what's gonna drive the cost. It is an important thing to note, not every application is practical for a wire. Not every application is practical for a wire mesh spark arrestor. There are limitations when we're forming wire mesh into various engineered products like spark arresters. And sometimes the dimensions just aren't practical to use with a woven wire mesh design. WS Tyler has proudly worked to learn the needs of our customers inside and out so that we can deliver the mesh solutions that genuinely help you feel peace of mind. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer those specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or any of our other products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Sam Badger, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.